Hi friends, this is Steve with a really quick update about Estim Mysteries. And one thing that I've been working on recently, which is embedding charts in Estim Mysteries. So just as a really quick overview here, what you see right now is a regular Estim Mystery and that will not be changed at all. However, you're going to see that there are two more options available now. So I wanna take a quick look at those. The first one, or the first set of course, is simply the regular Estim Mystery. The second option, if I bring this up and play this, what you'll see is there's a chart embedded on the slide that you can use to annotate so that after each clue, when there's discussion and math talk, you can use something like a digital pen to annotate on the chart. And notice that the chart will stay there after each clue, and it's simply a chart that's on the slide. And let's also take a look at this third option, which is an animated chart that's embedded within the Estim Mystery. Let's take a look at this one. On this set, notice that there's not a chart immediately visible. What happens is when you click and a clue appears, the next click will cause an animated chart to appear. So here you can see that the answer is less than 70. 70 has been grayed out. When you click a second time, the second clue will appear. And then the click after that will show what the chart looks like after all of the numbers from the clue have been eliminated. So here's the next click. On the next click, clue three provides more information. And then the click after that, updates the chart. Now you can see that this is starting to run out of room. So on this click, the chart's going to move to the top. And then the next click shows clue number four. The click after that will update the chart. Here's clue number five. And then the chart will be updated again. And then the rest of the estimistry proceeds from there. If you want to find out more information about this, then leave a comment in the blog. You can also come to slide number one. And if you click on slide number one, you're going to see that there are some tips and questions there. Okay, so which set should I use? First of all, if Estim Mysteries are already working well for you, then I recommend not making any changes at all here. And you would simply use slides two through seven if Estim Mysteries are already working well for you. So you'll find those here. This first set of slides, two through seven, is exactly the same. Now, if you're in a distance learning scenario where you really need a chart for everyone to see and you have a way to digitally write on it with a drawing tool or something like that, um, use slides eight through 13. So if you scroll down to slide number eight, this begins the set that has a chart and you can see it right there. The chart is embedded on the screen, it's ready to go and if you have a digital pen, you can write on it there. Okay, and then the third option is the step-by-step -step animated chart that eliminates the numbers after every clue. And my recommendation is that um, this may be helpful if you need a chart and you don't have an easy way to digitally write on the embedded chart. And you can use this to move forward and backward to see which clues eliminate which numbers. So to find that, you simply scroll down to um, this set right here, the third set. And again, when you play this, the chart will appear after each of the clues. But again, if Estim Mysteries are already working well for you and students have a way to annotate and write and discuss, then I recommend simply staying with the version that has no charts so that they can do their own writing. Okay, that's the quick overview. If you could take a moment to click the subscribe button and the notification bell, that'll be really helpful if I have future updates so that you're sure to hear about those along the way. And if you need the link to the Estim Mysteries, then just click on the link in the description below and that will take you directly to the blog post that has all of the downloadable Estim Mysteries in it. Thanks so much for watching.